decided to follow God's words through Moses. When they marched with him across the Niles, when they marched with him away from the misery, then they were saved. When we keep confusing war, this is not a crisis. This is war. This house is not fighting a war, but it's been burnt. Children who are doing metal work are not fighting war, they have been killed. This is not a crisis. Cameroonians are not suffering. Southern Cameroonians are suffering. There is no francophone, even amongst your houses that have been burnt. Show me that which belongs to a francophone here in town. Do they burn their villages? No. So when you confuse prayers like this, God will look at you. Go back to his word and see what happens. Justice is what he wants. What I understand with God is that the evil person may think that they have tried in this life. But God of justice will hold all of us accountable, if not here in the life after. But if you want life here in abundance, words are not enough, action must count. Heaven helps those who do what? Who help themselves. The one way to help yourself here is to speak truth. Look at the devil to his face and tell him, devil, you are a liar and you are wrong. Do not confuse the things, who dies and who is not dying. Do not tell God that Cameroonians are suffering. Make your prayer specific. It's very specific prayer. God, southern Cameroonians are dying. Stop generalizing where God is not paying attention. Those dying are southern Cameroonians. The whole world suffers. Americans suffer from immorality. So when you tell world, God the world is suffering, so what suffering are you referring to? Be specific with God that your people are facing genocide. Selective killing. Not because they have done anything wrong. Mami who has this house and Papa who has this house. What wrong did they do? But their house have been burnt. Hundreds of houses. People have been rendered homeless. That is why we call it genocide. Killing a people not because of what they have done, but for being who they are. That is a chopped food lying out there. Let your prayer be specific. And if your prayer cannot be specific, pray in your heart. When you want to pray for people, let God know what the problem is. I'm not a Christian, but your Bible says it is the proclamation that matters. Romans 10, 8 and 9. If you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and you proclaim it with your mouth. So believing heart is not enough. Proclaim things with your heart. Satan, get thee behind me, that's what you do. You don't tell Satan that my entire family is suffering. So, God would answer you as a matter of fact, in my understanding as a 